Today I'm working on my vehicle lift. I'm going to add a gauge to it so I can actually tell how much the vehicles weigh, if I'm maxing it out, how close I am. Um, just a handy figure to know, so let's do it. Just a quick update. This is my Ben Pack um, vehicle lift. I did a whole video on it. I'll put a link to that if you want to watch that first to see where we are right now. Where I essentially just installed a new hydraulic ram, welded up different stuff to it. and I've done a few things since then. Um, obviously, I've never painted it. But... The hydraulic hose was pretty bad, so I recently bought a new hydraulic hose. But I did have, I've had this quick release fitting on here, which makes it nice so I can just release it and just wheel that around and I don't have to worry about the hose. But I just barely bought this hose, so I'm going to finish installing this hose, bleeding it, but I want a gauge as well. So this right here is the main hydraulic unit, and I keep this just tucked away in the garage, plugged in, it just runs off of 220. Um, I did add a long push button. A lot of these lifts, it's kind of annoying to actually raise them and lower them. You just actually a button on the machine and that's exactly how this one was. But I decided to um, add a long cord with a little bit of a block. That was the same push button on it. And so now I can get under the vehicle and I can kind of look and position my blocks and cap it up and go up. So the hydraulic hose connects right here going out to the, uh, the lift. And then I just had these two fittings. I took this off. It's kind of funny because there's every single fitting here. You have a JIC to a National Pipe Taper NPT to a, a O-Ring Boss right here. And they do sell um, T's, like a, a gauge port adapter where you can actually just put a uh, essentially just a T in there so you can actually screw a gauge in. But I think I have enough meat on here. I don't want to wait around for a a, um, a gauge port adapter. I think I have enough meat here where I can just drill that and tap it and just install this gauge. I do do the math. Um, I know these pumps are rated. I mean, they can do 2,500, 3,000 PSI. But I did the math at 6,000 pounds with three inch cylinder to lift it. It should take somewhere around six to 700 PSI. I got a 3,000 PSI gauge here, which is a little bit more than I need, but I don't want to put a smaller gauge on there and just have it blow up immediately. So we'll just use this old gauge for now. I actually like this. I've been trying to find a use for this old gauge. So this comes in handy. And essentially what we'll do is you just translate, you know, you'll get the curb weight online and you'll lift up a 6,000 pound vehicle and then you'll just mark it if it's 638 PSI, 640 PSI, kind of mark it. And then you know where 6,000 pound is and you weigh a 2,500 pound vehicle. And then you can kind of just draw the lines yourself or actually print off a new background for it, or get a, you know, if it only goes up, if it doesn't ever go up to 1,000 PSI, you know, with this 3,000, I can just get a 1,000 PSI gauge. But we're just going to drill this out and tap it so we can put the gauge on it. There we go. Well, now I can actually drill this side just a little bit bigger so I can get the right size for my tap, which I, gotta, I guess I got to look that up. Google says 7 16 It's so always a fun one, the pipe taper, because you don't want to go in too far because you're cutting a taper. I think that should be good. We can test it out. It's just a... Yep. That feels good. Now it's just about cleaning all the burrs up and stuff on it so we don't introduce crap into our hydraulic system but we should be good and it doesn't look like it'll go far enough to block off the little port through there I'll screw the gauge in and then I'll make sure looking through here that I didn't clog it up so we can thread this stuff back in o-ring boss does not require ORB does not require any Teflon or anything else um, neither does GIC, but NPT does, and so we can use Teflon type. I'm going to use this Loctite that I, I like this stuff. 
kind of tighten everything together. And then we'll get that tightened in the end. That should be it. So this is new hose that I got as well. You can see that it's um, actually two pieces. I actually unioned it. Before it was only about 14 feet. And I was able to get two 12 footers for super cheap. Um, first just buying a longer so I got 24 footer feet of uh, reach now but I have to bleed the line um, I'm running just automatic transmission fluid in here so to bleed the line I'm just gonna open it up stick the line back in there the new hose in there and just run the pump for a second there it goes Guess the first number we need to know is what it is just empty. So let's pump it up. So this is 24 to 2,500 pounds. So there's three different lock positions, one, two, and three, and the pressure changes the further it goes up because the ram is lifting more vertical. So I'll write those down and then we'll throw that on and see how much the expedition reads. So I removed all four tires just to see if that changed the rating and I took down all the specs and on the third lock, there's, there's a couple different locks on this where it actually locks in. It was 390 PSI. And when I removed all the tires, I actually dropped to about, I would say, 360. So, I mean, it is registering weight when I remove all that stuff. Um, it is registering it pretty accurately because each tire weighs like 27, 28 pounds. So I removed almost exactly 100, 110 pounds and it dropped, you know, a certain amount, but... Now we got something a little bit heavier. I think the curb weight on this is about 5,500 pounds. Um, that doesn't include anything in it. So we're probably closer to 56, 5,700 pounds. Okay, so that's all the way to the third lock. And I'm about 660 PSI. So these are my numbers that I came up with, a 2,500 pound car and roughly a 5,500 5, pound car. Um, at the very first lock, um, the Expedition's not even lifting the whole thing all the way, so it doesn't even, doesn't even pertain. At the second lock on both of them, 450 to 810. Um, third lock on the highest possible is 390 PSI versus 660. Um, so I can kind of calculate in there. I could write that out on a gauge and stuff like that and I could actually figure out you know what a 3,500 pound vehicle weighed and what a 4,000, 4,500 pound. I could figure out with these PSI numbers um, at this third lock exactly what a vehicle weighed and then if I had these weighed at like a, um, a weigh station I could get even a more precise number probably to within 50 to 100 pounds of actual weight so kind of cool. Just a side little note, something that's super cool. I got these as kind of like a white elephant a couple Christmases ago from a family member, and they are amazing. They're post note extremes, they're for outdoors, and they actually work. I've stuck them on mowers and just on uh, cylinders, uh, tanks, just to write details and data, you know, mowers that I've got that I've written, you know, did an oil change and stuff on, it, and I've left them outside in the weather for up to two years now. And the writing, if you write with a really crappy pen or something, will, will fade off before these ever come off. They never like fall off. They don't leave any sticky residue. I'll put a link to these. These are absolutely amazing. I'm impressed. Really impressed with outdoor post-its. Who knew? So I was able to lift and let the vehicles down, move them around a little bit. And every time I repeated the exact same results, the pressure stayed the same, which is good. 
I do think that maybe I need a lower PSI gauge so that I can have a broader sweep and a bigger, you know, a bigger area to see exactly what the PSI is. And then maybe I can see the 665, like exactly, you can tell a little bit better versus the, the gauge that goes up to 3000 that you can't really see that close. You're kind of guesstimating, but that's the next thing. Go to Amazon, look at a gauge. Um, anyway, but I'm able to get accurate results and I can watch the pressures on the machine as, as well. Um, on a side note, I haven't painted it yet. I don't know what color to paint it. Maybe you guys could tell me. Um, it was originally blue. I don't know if I like blue. Maybe I do. Thought about going back blue. Maybe red. Or maybe I should just paint it black and then it just, you know, then it doesn't stand out sitting in my driveway. Thanks for watching, guys. See you soon. Let me know what you think about the color. Talk to you soon. Bye. Bring it here. Come on, bring it here. Bring me the little stick. Now let's play fetch. Come on, bring it here. Don't bring me the whole thing.